civilizations knew how to harness free energy, obviously, right? Uh, they did uh, build megalithic structure for the purpose. So pyramids were free energy devices or like I said, um, structures that were built to harness and generate energy. And not only in megalithic structures, but in their, their bodies, they knew how to work with free energy, which meant that they were food autonomous. A civilization cannot build free energy devices until they master their own bodies as free energy devices. That's the universal law, the universal rule. Whoever disagrees, I'm sorry, guys, we need to understand the full um, meaning of as above, so below. You can only create what you can understand. You can only uh, generate what you've encompassed in your physical vessel. You can only manifest what your physical vessel, which is the body, has already manifested in itself. That's the law of the universe. If you haven't been able to uh, harness free energy in your body, you will not be given the coordinates and the permission to, gener to build free energy generators because you will self-destruct or you will destroy your civilization the way you did with uh, Hiroshima and other things when you were given too much information too soon. The humanity needs to attain a certain level of consciousness that implies autonomy, which is food freedom, energy freedom, in, in order to receive the next level in device usage, which will be used harmoniously and, you know, in love and collaboration and not for fighting and destroying others. That's why so far humanity has not have access in this day, I mean, not in the past, in this day has not have access to the free energy devices that are already available because they will not use them harmoniously yet. As we're still in the fight and conquer um, mode, this will not be given to us. And we're only be out of the fight and conquer mode when we're gonna be energy autonomous because the biggest wars in this galaxy are not for fuel or energy in terms of money or petrol or any types of fuel that can power up ships or, 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 or vessels. It, it, the biggest words in this galaxy are for inner energy and consciousness. So to enslave and harness the powers of other beings. This is what the biggest words in the galactic realm are for. Do not kid yourself that if a civilization would have energy powered vessels, they wouldn't fight each other. Yes, they will. They still do in certain galactic realms. So only the civilizations who have been evolved enough to master free energy in their bodies or their beings, some don't even need a body, are completely free from the need of conquering and fighting others and are completely into the realm of collaboration and Con contact with with love and harmony. Type yes if you can resonate. So this has been a transmission full end to end. I haven't thought of this. It's just something that comes. And I know some of you resonate or get goosebumps and or um, other sensations in your body. I would love to know if you're in that category. Yes, sure. <laughs> I was guessing that. Yes, because this is a truth, truth, true truth. And this is a message to all scientists, physicists, and others who are researching and or are interested in free energy devices. Try to learn it in yourself. Try to develop it as a civilization. And then you will have the vehicles or devices as quick as this, only when you are autonomous so that you don't need to draw 
energy from other beings or have power over their bodies or energy or consciousness because we are not supporting the games of power we're only supporting the games of love and only for that you will have the right resources <laughs>